What is up guys? Today we're covering everything you need to know about sound. Background music, sound effects, triggering sounds from events, and triggering different footstep sounds depending what surface you're walking on. Just before we start, if you could hit that subscribe button to support me creating this content, that would be really cool. But okay, let's get into this. To import sounds into Unreal, we can simply drag and drop them from our file explorer into our content browser. However, the file type for these files need to be type WAV, not MP3. So you can either find sound effects as type WAV, or you can use this online converter to convert your MP3 files to type WAV. I'll leave a link in the description. So when you've got your WAV files, drop them into your content browser. In order to drag sounds into your level, you first need to convert them to cues. And a cue is basically a physical version of the sound we've imported. So select your sound, right click, and create cue. If you double click to open up your cue, you can change the volume and pitch by selecting your output node and changing these in the details. By selecting our audio clip, we can also decide if we want our audio to loop or not. We can drag multiple audio files inside this cue and we can use the nodes on the right hand side to mix or randomize the sound outputted. Okay, for background music, simply drag the cue into the level and in the details section, make sure auto activate is checked and that's it. For playing sounds restricted to certain areas like a waterfall, first make sure your cue is looping, then drag your cue into the area you want your sound to play, select it and look in the details. Scroll down until you get to attenuation and tick override attenuation. Then scroll down to attenuation spatialization and change the radius to how far you want the sound to be heard at normal volume. Then change the fall off distance to how far you want the sound to be heard at the lowest volume. And that's it. Okay, what about triggering sounds in a blueprint, like a gunshot or explosion when you get into a certain area? For this, it's really simple. Just hop into a blueprint that you want to play the sound from, bring in a play sound at location node, look in the list for your sound and specify a location. You can also click the arrow drop down for more settings. For location, if you're unsure about what to use, just bring in a get actor location node, which will play the sound at the location of the blueprint. You can then plug this into whatever event you need, a box collision, a key press, etc. Okay, what about playing sounds during animation? Well, this is another easy one. Hop into an animation, jump to the frame you want the sound to occur at, then right click by the notify column and bring in a play sound notify. From here, you can just select the sound you want in the details. Okay, very last thing. What if we want footstep sounds for our character, but we want to change the sound outputted depending what surface we're walking on? Well, first we need to check what surface we're stood on. So hop into the project settings and type in physical in the search bar. Now for surface type one and two, type in two new surfaces. I'm gonna write wood and grass. Then close this. Now we need to create two physical materials to use these new surfaces. So right click under physical, physical material. Call this whatever you called your first surface type, mine was called wood. Then right click the material and duplicate. Call this your second surface type. Now open up the first material and for surface type in the details, select your first surface type. Then do the same for the second material. Now find two materials you want the sound to apply to. I have two colored materials called wood and grass. Hop into the first one and in the details, select your physical material we just made. Then hop into the second material and select the second physical material we made. Save and close these and apply these materials to two surfaces. Now hop back into our running animation. Right click for a notify again, but this time select new notify and call it footsteps. Place this at the frame you want your footstep noise to occur at. Now hop into your animation blueprint. Bring in our footstep notify we just made, then bring in a line trace by channel node, and off our pawn owner, bring in a get actor location node and plug this into the start of our line trace. Pull off our get actor location and bring in a minus vector node. Type 200 into the Z and plug this into the line trace end. Now off the line trace hit result, pull off this and break the result. Then pull off it again and bring in a get surface type node. Now bring in a switch on e physical surface node, 
and connect our surface type into here. And finally, bring in a play sound at location node for each one of your surfaces. For location, plug in the hit result location. So every time our notify triggers, we're scanning below our character for the surface we're on. Then depending which physical material that surface has, depends which sound effect we output. And that is everything guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time.